All right, all right. This is part 34, Red Hood 2. Let's get it. No, I made a camp. Slept. I can't scooch my chair in. Tore it down. And now it looks like I can go back and do some missions. I thought it was very annoying that I could not. Should probably uh shoot some animals again. I need some meat. I have a letter. You're walking away from me and I'm trying to get your attention. Morning. Morning, Arthur. Here, got a hold of the harmonica for you. I look forward to hearing When did I get that? The only audience I ever had was my husband, and I want to keep it that way. Oh, huh. fair enough. There's a letter upstairs for me. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours. Mary. So, what's that? Another mission? I don't know if I <clears throat> end up there sometime, I'll do it. Good morning. Uh, it's you. Did not mean to barge in like that. Can I just jump that? Cool. Why can't I run in the camp? Oh my god, why? Just stay on the map, that's the only thing I use. Who got a dog? Morning, Arthur. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but but we're still alive. Mm -hmm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys cared for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. 
What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. <laughs> Long time ago now. What happened? Well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Oh, she is pissed. Where are we I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Oh, you're not... You're not letting me get any guns? Damn, why is everyone gotta be so far away all the time? For Rhodes, and quick. She's in Rhodes? No, she's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told that? Awesome. No, she spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You were fish. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Well, I hope I don't get. Uh, I hope I don't get too rowdy. Cause all I have are my pistols. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa! What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here! Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here! Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by I it. I said. You said. Oh, damn. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our gun. <laughs> okay, you loot him. I can't believe that guy missed me. I thought there was. <coughs> yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone It's a Dalmatian horse. Shoot him. Oh, don't worry. Oh, bad start. Now, who 
horses. Did she say don't kill the one? Oh, you're lucky. He's kind of fast. Man, how far away are you gonna run? Oh damn. Don't let him get away. Quit slowing down, horse. over there now to check she's okay. Pick him up, bro. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. We're going for a walk. That bitch owes me. All right. Do you have the first... How far away did he get? Idea what you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Oh, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. Shut the hell up. Get off me. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Can I hit him again? So good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed damn my coward. Oh shit! She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry, you'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. Watch your mouth. All right, all right, damn it. I'm just going to hit him as many times as the game lets me. monster so he's still alive then yes you see this girl you leave her alone she killed my cousin your goddamn cousin had it coming anthony foreman i don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast she's mine she ate yours you know a friend of mine he always says <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game now you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. I want to, but I want good honor. 
Let's get you home. Yeah. Now get out of here. Damn, now I've got to ride all the way back. With this... Whoever's horse this is. <clears throat> Slow ass horse. They just left me here. Don't got my weapons, don't got my bow. Just a slow ass horse. I don't want to bond with this horse. God, I'm surprised I caught up to him with this slow thing. Just died. I don't even want the skin, I just want some of the meat. I had to shoot that thing like eight times. Let's go, girl. No, you can do what you wish, pony. Leave. Stay. Trapped. In a swamp. Yeah, it's like hell on earth. It beats freezing to death. Was that you? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linder's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I hope it just puts us in the city. Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's <coughs> incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. So just say, is everyone going to pat him on the shoulder? A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Yeah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come down this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Mr. Brante, he has a, that thing, you know. I feel like my controller has a little bit of stick drift. Jose, Bill, 
can join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. Gum gum? We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Damn, this is a big house. <laughs> ah, the angry cowboys, you arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. <laughs> no, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See, that wretch is the mayor. <laughs> Henri <coughs> Le Mieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he... Comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, <coughs> uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken. <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the park. That guy's very condescending. Follow me. Oh, what's on that door? Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. All right, what are we doing? Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course, Jose, you go find us someplace to run. All right, uh, I'm going to end this part here. If you watched, I appreciate it. I hope you liked it, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace.